we've been having to redefine our value proposition since the beginning of time. Uh, I've mentioned before, I often talk about my mom, who I work with, and uh, she had her first website in 1986. <laughs> and it's when there was a static, static single page with a photograph of her on her block phone, uh, her car phone, right? Um, and I remember there was a time when the internet came. And of course, it was going to be the end of our industry because people were going to be able to have access to the information. Uh, and then it became uh, when you were uh, trying to get a listing or working with buyers, trying to get a buyer's business. It was a who has the best website, right? And no. then, of course, we all had the same websites, right? And so cyclically in this industry, we we have cutting edge differentiators, and then we all end up with the same tools and we have to figure out what, what the next level of differentiation is. And, um, and I think in that luxury space, like you mentioned, Jack, it's totally different than first time buyers or, you know, what we refer to as bread and butter. And mm -hmm. so I think right now where we all need to be is figuring out that additional differentiator. And, and that may be in, in our presentation, but I think, Mike, you've really you've really hit it on the head in terms of uh, demonstrating versus expressing. Um, and and so how do we go a little further in terms of demonstrating versus just expressing? Well, um, here's the thing, I think, that is important in that uh, when we talk to clients, we will tend to explain to them a service that we provide something in our offering our service offering and what we don't do is tell them why that's important for them and so what we want to be able to do is identify exactly what that benefit is and the way that we do that verbally at least the way that we do that it would be to say what this means to you is uh, and there's other ways to say it but that's that's the easiest one i think to you know to understand um, we use Benefit statements like that to focus on the client needs, to take that service and to focus that on the client needs. So what this means to you, it may save you time, may save you money. It may address that particular feature of a home that you're looking for, those kinds of things. And so benefit statements are really important. We also talk about value statements. And a value statement is something that you can throw in that would uh, tell the client what you do and how you do it. And the benefits, it tends to be built into that. So I might say to a client, I use my negotiation skills to help ensure that you get the maximum value on every real estate transaction that you do. And so the, the, uh, the how is my negotiation skills and the what is the maximum value. And benefit can be implied in a value statement like that. Or I can say, I've um, invested the time and resources to gain training in the most valuable skill that consumers look for in a real estate agent, and that's negotiation. And what this means to you is I'm able to bring a structured and a disciplined approach to negotiating with your money and ensure that you get the best value in whatever transaction we're looking to accomplish. 